All right, so in the previous video, we went over the dip analyzer trading mode just very briefly. So in order to activate it, all I will do is I will click on the word where it said deactivated and now it says unsaved settings. So I click on the left hand side, save and restart later. Cool, so it says this one is deactivation pending request and this is activation pending request. So now hit down here it says compatible evaluation strategy. So dip analyzer strategy. So let's go and have a look at what is this uh, at least one activated strategy. Okay, cool. So there we go. And it says active. Okay, so it's got these two cling oscillator and RSI movement evaluator. So let's go and click on those. And okay, so it says activation required. Okay, uses cling. Okay, so let us go and do a quick restart of Octobot. Okay, so this is giving me my, ah, yeah. So it tries to connect to Reddit and Telegram and so on and so forth. Um, it does have the ability to do that. Um, but we, we're not going to set those up. That's just for like notifications. So it can notify you on uh, Telegram to say, hey, it's done a trade. Uh, I'm not going to go over that um, in this video. So I just want to do a restart. Sorry, I think that was in profile maybe. Ah, there we go. Okay. Save and restart. Let's just do that quickly. So we'll give it a second. Now you can see right at the name here, Octobot, it's got a little red, uh, a little black cross next to it. Um, and there we go. Octobot has restarted. Okay, awesome. So um, I see that they've actually made a change. Um, they're constantly updating the software. Um, previously, you had to refresh your tab in order to in order to get the the page back up and running. Um, but it seems like maybe they have. Maybe they've done the same. Let's refresh my page and see. It says deactivation in progress. Deactivation. Ha ha. Okay. So I refresh the page, and there we go. It shows that that is active, and this one dip analyzes strategy that is active, and I can activate that. Can I? Evaluate is activated. Restart Octobot. Okay. So let's go and see if I need to activate these. Ready to start. Ah. Okay. So it does say it's it's activated here. Um. So that is all good. Okay, so I am still running in simulated trading mode. So let's go and see if I what details I have. So I've just clicked on dip analyzer trading mode. Um, so it says impossible to disable. Oh, it wants to disable it. Sorry, I'm supposed to click on the little um, the little eye. So if I click on dip analyzer stra uh, strategy. Ah, uh, okay. So this is what I wanted to see. Over here, it's got my dip analyzer strategy evaluator, and it says analyzed time frame. Only the first one will be considered for dip analyzer strategy evaluator. So, what it is giving me is how often do I want the system to analyze the trades? So, what I've done is I have selected on my own one. 15 minutes so it says value at most must have one so every 15 minutes it's going to go and have a look at the system have a look at the trades and see does it need to make a trade in order to make a profit okay so i'm going to say save configuration and restart later okay now the next thing i want to do is i want to go over to my portfolio Okay, now it's given me some crazy amount of uh, Bitcoin, which I don't think is accurate. So I'm going to go to profile and currencies. And here it's got USD, uh, C and USD uh, and Bitcoin um, trading. And there we go. Okay, so it has given me 10 Bitcoin and it has given me a thousand dollars. Okay, so let's go and set something more realistic. I always try and set that at what would a realistic amount of money be for me to put in to my portfolio. So let's say 0.00. 0. 